you want to capture motion blur in your photos, you're going to need some movement and a slower shutter speed. Generally, 1 60th of a second and slower is a good place to start, but there are a lot of variables that go into it. So today, we'll cover three different ways to get that blurry look that's got a ton of riz. Say less. And thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring it. A fun way to capture motion, especially in an urban environment, is to utilize camera panning. The basic idea is that you will stand in place, but pivot the camera along with the moving subject at the same rate of speed that they pass in front of you. This technique really highlights your subject because it will be in focus, but everything else around it will be blurry. Start by adjusting your camera settings. Generally, a shutter speed of 1 30th of a second is a good starting point with an aperture of f16. Ideally, you want to be positioned so your subject will move parallel to your lens. It'll take some practice, but once you get the feel for the movement, it can be a lot of fun to pull off. Maybe our favorite way to utilize motion blur is to have the subject move while we stay still. Try starting with a shutter speed of 1 60th of a second, and feel free to slow it down if you want more blur. Here we had our models run toward the camera. Our focus mode was set to AI servo or continuous focus mode, so as they move closer, the camera will try its best to focus on them. This process is all about trial and error. Maybe you miss focus, maybe your shutter is too slow. No problem, as long as your subject is patient. To simplify things, maybe you're having a hard time focusing. You can have your subject stay in one place, but move their arms, legs, or clothing. This really adds a dynamic feeling to photos, which can be a great addition to any photo set. Lastly is what we'll call background movement. You'll want your subject to be stationary, but in an environment with lots of background and maybe foreground action. A city street is another good example location or perhaps a train station. With really fast motion, like a train, your shutter doesn't have to be that slow. Try 1 80th of a second and slow it down more if you want more motion blur. With slower moving motion, like non-New York pedestrians, you know what to do. Slow that shutter down, maybe 1 30th of a second. Remember, you'll need to hold the camera as still as possible and you want your subject to be as still as possible as well so that they are tack sharp. Now for a more dramatic time-lapse like effect, borrow your dad's tripod and you can really go to town with multi-second long shutter speeds. Imagine a still frame from this scene in Garden State. We once used this technique when shooting a wedding at an art museum. We had the couple stand still and had their wedding party mill around in the background. So while we used to pay our bills with weddings, we now pay them like this. The sponsor of this video is Skillshare, and Skillshare is the largest online learning community for creatives with thousands of classes led by industry pros across film, illustration, design, freelance, productivity, and more. This new year, invest in yourself and your goals by starting a learning journey on Skillshare to take your career, skills, or side hustle to the next level. If you're not sure where to start, well, start with our own Skillshare class, or maybe one by our friend Abuka Morty. But after that, take a look at Skillshare designed learning paths to help you get from a novice to pro in no time. Learning paths are hand-picked classes meant to be taken in order that build upon one another, reinforcing lessons. So for me, I've always been pretty terrible at piano. So this year, I'm looking to kickstart my progression with the complete piano learning path. I still suck, but hopefully not for long. These learning paths are available in a range of experience levels from beginner to advanced, and a variety of categories including design, productivity, creative freelancing, tools and software like Lightroom and Photoshop, and more. The first 500 people to use our link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare, so check it out in the description below. There's a ton to learn, and now is the best time to start. Well, we hope you found it to be useful. Let us know in the comments below what you want to learn. Uh, 2024 is just starting, we got a lot of videos to put out this year, and we want to know what you want to see. So let us know in the comments, and we will see you in the next one. Peace.